Today we're going to look at isometric drawing. The best way to do an isometric drawing is to imagine a box which would hold exactly the item you want to draw. Draw the box using the light construction lines to show the height, the length and the width of whatever you want to draw. An isometric drawing is a type of pictorial drawing that shows three faces of an object to give the object a 3D appearance. So I'm going to show you how to do the steps of doing an isometric drawing today. And I'm going to use my T-square, my board, and I'm going to use my 30-60 set square. Now I've started doing some guidelines on here, but in order for you to see what I'm doing, I'm actually going to have to um, change the line work that I do so that you can see uh, what I'm drawing. So I'm going to start with a horizontal line just to get a point on the page. And then I'm going to put a 30 millimeter line on here. And that is gonna be at a 90 degree angle. Okay, here we go, getting exciting now. So I've got my horizontal in there and I'm gonna use my light construction line to measure the 30 mils. And then I'm going to go back one way, see how far that goes, measure 30 millimetres, make that a bit darker so you can see, just flip my set square over on my page, I've got another light line for 30 millimetres. And there what we have is traditionally what I call a chook's foot. So when I talk about isometric drawing, I talk about starting the isometric drawing with a chook's foot. So the next bit, draw a horizontal, mark in out 30 degrees. We've got our lines going back at a 30 degree angle. And I'm gonna measure that to make them 30 millimeters. Uh, 10, 20, 30, go the other way, 10, 20, 30. Now the reason I did that is because I couldn't get my drawing board any lower. Now I'm going to start to close or make my box look more like a book. So all I'm going to do at the moment is because I already know this measurement, I'm just going to draw some light construction lines up the page. And then at some point I will know that they're 30 degrees because I can use this measurement in here. And then I can draw in my verticals. Now these lines are parallel lines as well. So that's a word I don't think I've mentioned before. So all these lines go in the same direction and they're not going to ever come together. So step number four, Let's see if I can't get it going a little bit quicker. Turn it over, nothing too tricky about that. Now these light lines, because we've already spoken about that, are construction lines. And then I can start to draw in some of my bits and pieces there. Because I'm already using the height and the, lip, the width to get some of those lines the measurements of the lines without having to measure. Okay, here we go. The last one, let's just close it all up. Ten, twenty, thirty. 
white construction lines. So you start with your foot, took foot, you put in your verticals, you close the lid, then you can almost just transfer that line over, put your set square, just move your set square over and then you're able to close your box. Okay, there we go. Now a little bit of housekeeping. Okay, so we start with our vertical, which we know is going to be 30. Oops, make sure they're together. Construction. Measure that one because it's in the way of my T square, and then I'm going to measure the other side. First thing we do is what make our chook slit. and then we put in our verticals. And then I can start to close some of this up. Now I'm just going to do a nice light line. Now these are going back at 30 degrees. And these are all parallel. Oops, I got a line. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now these are also parallel lines. Wait, there's more. These are also parallel lines. Okay, and that's how we do our isometric drawing. 